my name is Kai Sugoski, and I am a cross-disciplinary artist. I, my background is in performing arts and media arts, and currently I'm also an associate professor of art and design at Sheffield Hallam University in the UK. My work has, for about a decade now, really uh, revolved around how the human body is represented in medical education mm -hmm. through various kinds of simulations, uh, such as through standardized patients' performance, but also really like the anatomical models and mannequins and anatomical drawings, as well as problem-based learning narratives. Simulation injection simulator is um, so the the origin of that actually started almost ten years ago when I was doing my postdoc fellowship at Plymouth uh, College Peninsula College of Medicine and Dentistry in the UK, yeah. and I was observing there how these um, simulators that are representing a body part and in this case it's an arm are being used to train a certain clinical skills. So the students were practicing with these um, rubber simulation arms how to do a venipuncture. And the students often practice it together. So there's a student who actually does the venipuncture and there's a peer who sits behind the table and the arm is kind of um, situated or positioned as if it's starting from their body to create kind of a continuity and already an impression for the practicing student that th there is an actual body attached to this arm in the end. Okay, so these rubber arms, uh, they are pierced day by day, year after year, and at some point, and I don't think it takes many years, at some point they are full of holes, uh, they're torn down and they are going to be tossed away. And I was doing my field work there uh, in their simulation center and saw this pile of rubber arms in the corner. You know, this is how it works. You collect these are kind of found objects mm -hmm. and you keep them and they incubate. And at some point, you know what to do with them. And it's amazing how that I didn't know that whole history and the, the how the object, it really becomes this interface between what is human and what is the kind of debris of, of medical intervention and the, just how you described it. it. It is so visceral how you describe it extending from the partner. Um, so I started feeling how it feels to pierce uh, the simulation arm um, with them and that led to this transformation of the arm into this landscape of needles, which are also coming through it. So thinking of them, um, so these simulators do have a life cycle. If they're practiced with instruments such as needles, they're not gonna last for 10 years. So uh, there is a life cycle of the simulators. This means that it is also an accumulation of mistakes the students have been done. So there is a certain timeline and history uh, that you can find in this uh, many of these simulator objects. 